What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to learn methods for creating power circuits. Because before, we've been uh, learning how to create lighting circuits. And this time around, let's focus on the power loads. Okay, so we're going to learn methods for creating power circuits. So circuits are used for power, lighting, and data systems. So the concept of grouping similar functions into systems is used to show logical connections between different components in the system. All right, so let's do this. So as you can see, I'm on level two power plan. So I'm gonna zoom in my view to instruction two to one here. So this is space here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all of these elements inside this space here inside the 221 space and then I'm going to select here uh, filter okay so I select the filter I select check none because I only want to select the electrical fixtures so I'm going to select that one and then select your okay and then as you can see there's the create systems again here so we can create the power circuit so I'm going to select uh, power okay and then after that I need to um, assign these uh, receptacles or electrical fixtures to our panel. That's why from the systems tool, I'm going to select here, select panel. And then I'm going to look for this panel here. I think this is the one. So this is our PP2-B. If you remember, this is the two uh, light uh, electrical fixtures or panels that we have inserted in this space here. So we have the panel for the lighting and then we have the panel this time for the power. So I'm going to select the power. Okay. And it's now selected. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, as you can see, it highlights all the connections here. So there is a convert to wire here. So I'm going to select convert to arc wire. So I select that one and there you go. Okay, so I'm going to select modify here to deselect the wires. So that's it. So if you want, you can click that uh, home run. So we call this home run and then maybe you can just uh, move that arrow to point to our panel there. Okay, so I can click that and then I can also drag that this circle here. And then I can arrange that. There you go. All right. Okay, so now as you can see, you can also change here the number of the tick marks, right? So as you can see, we only have three here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, click the home run. So let me just click the home run. Let me go to the properties. And then let me change the hat conductors here. So I'll change that to two. Two. And then you will notice when I apply that, so it changed now to four tick marks. Okay, so that's uh, how you do it. Or aside from that, you can also select all of the wires here. You can hover your pointer to one of the wire, press tab, and then you click. All right, so it doesn't show here, so let me just select filter here. I select only the wires, select OK, and then I'll change the hat conductors. I'll change that to 2, and then I apply. All right, there you go. So I now have four tick marks on my wire there. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is, by the way, if you want to remove the number of tick mark or add or remove, you can click the wire and then you can see there the plus icon right you can click that plus uh, minus icon if you want to minus or you can select the plus if you want to add tick mark okay you can do that so i'll just select here uh, modify now the next thing that i'm gonna do is let us try to load some uh tick mark okay so if i click this home run here so as you can see i have a hot conductor two and then neutral conductors one uh, ground conductors one so that's why the total is four so now if i go to the electrical settings uh, systems i go to electrical settings here 
So you can see from the wiring types, wire size, wiring, okay, on the wiring. So you can see that for my hot ground and neutral wire, I only have here short wire tick mark. So let's say, for example, you want to add another type of tick mark. So how to do that? So let me just cancel this one. So I'm going to select here the insert, and then I go to uh, load family, and then let's look for electrical. Oops, sorry, electrical. Okay, where is that? So electrical, there you go. MEP, and, ah, no, not that one. So I just move up one level. So I think you can find it here on the annotation. So just double click the annotations. And then let's look for the folder here, electrical. Double click that. And then let's look for tick marks folder. So you can double click that. And then here are the tick marks that you can use to load to your project. So let's say I want to uh, select here um, hook wire tick mark. So I select that. And then I hold control. So I select long wire tick mark as well. Or you can just use window or you can just drag your pointer from right going to the left and then just open to load all of the tick marks okay so that's how you load a tick mark and then if you want to change the tick mark so i can go again to the electrical settings i can type es all right and then you go to wiring and then you can change the value of your tick mark here Okay, so let's say, for example, for my ground wire tick mark, so I want to change that to um, hook wire tick mark. So I select that one. And then let's say for the neutral, so I change that to long wire. Okay, there you go. And then just select OK. So that's it. So it's really simple. So as you can see, it's now changed your uh, tick mark there. Okay, so the tick mark for all ground conductors are changed to a hooked tick marks if we are going to zoom in. That's the one that I'm talking about. And then the neutral uh, neutral con conductors display as a long uh, tick mark. All right, now the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to combine a multiple home runs into a multi-circuit home run. Okay. So let's say, for example, on my 222 space here on the computer lab. So I'm going to highlight one of the receptacle. So I'm going to hover my pointer. Okay, and then I'm going to press tab. And then as you can see, it will display a preview of the circuit wiring. So I'm going to click this to select the circuit. Okay. All right, and then after that, on the systems tool, I'm going to select here, select panel. So I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to assign that again to our power panel here. So I'm going to select this one. There you go. So it's now assigned there. And you see the rectangular dash line here, the red rectangular dash line. It now highlights this area here up to this area here because that is where our panel is located at. Now, I'm going to convert to wire here. I'm going to select again arc wire. So, I select that one and I just select here modify to deselect the wires. Okay? So, I now have here a home run. Okay? So, I'm going to select this home run here from the space lab, uh, computer lab 222. So, I'm going to select that one. Okay, and then I'm going to select the other wire here. So let's say this one. So I want these wires to be removed. So I'm going to select that, hold control, and then select this wire as well. And then I'm going to delete that one. There you go. Okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the systems. I will select the wire here. I will use arc wire. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to click this uh, receptacle here. So let me just click this one, this one. I'm going to click that. 
Okay, and then I'm going to connect that to this receptacle here. Okay, so it's now connected. So let me just um, put an arc here. Oh. So I'll just right click, insert vertex here. So I can just drag that to have an arc wire. So I can click here, right click, insert vertex. So I put one here. There you go. So I can use that to drag. Okay. Right. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create another wire. So I select arc wire and then I'm going to connect this wire here from the space um, uh, computer lab space is computer lab so I'm going to click one here to create an arc and then I'm going to pick here because what I'm trying to do is I want to uh, create a multiple home run to the circuit so I'm going to click here and there you go okay and then I'm going to select here modify so you will now notice here I now have here uh, two arrows okay so two home runs so what I did is I combined this circuit here from the computer lab 222 and then to the instruction 221 so I connected that wire to that receptacle okay now I'm going to select here modify and then I'm going to add another wire between the connector on the last receptacle in the 221, which is uh, this point here, right? Mm, I think that's it for this one. I'm not going to add another wire here. So how about I'm going to add another wire to this point up to this point here okay so I already add a wire here so I want to add one more here from this point to this point all right so let us add arc wire so I'm gonna pick this point I'm gonna pick here and then I'm gonna pick one here there you go and then what else okay so I want also to create another wire here so I want to Great one here. There you go. Okay, and then I will select now here, uh, modify. So you can now see that I now have here a triple arrow head for the home run. Okay, so basically that's how you, uh, that's how you combine your home runs so that's how you combine multiple home runs into a multi-circuit home run okay so you just put some wires to the receptacles of the multi-circuit so in our example we did that on our computer lab space and then on our uh, instruction space here okay all right so basically that's how you create your power loads if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.